Hi, my name is Amanda Alford, and the title of my culminating project was Promotion of Collaboration Between Therapists, Teachers, and Parents Through Technology, with a focus on educational outcomes for students with disabilities. I completed this project in the Coffee County School District, and I began by looking at current evidence-based literature of what is being done in the schools um, with occupational therapy services. And then I went into the school district and I administered an um, initial survey to um, the teachers who were um, consented to participate in my project. And I, I administered this survey in order to find out um, their knowledge of what services occupational therapy um, provides, as well as their views on um, how easy it is to collaborate with the therapist. And after I did this, I created a website with um, different sections on um, basically developmental skills of different age groups and um, suggestions for um, just basic general suggestions for activities for different skills like fine motor skills, gross motor skills, emotional regulation, social skills, um, and just some things like that. And then I also included resources on the website and the website was improed2013.org. Um, after I created this website, I then administered a final questionnaire to the teacher participants. And I also completed semi-structured interviews with the therapist in the Coffee County School District and parents within um, the Coffee County School District as well to see um, what their views on collaboration were. And although I did not find any statistically significant findings from my survey, this was mainly because it was hard to get teachers to participate um, the way they were supposed to participate in the project because of lack of time. They they're, have a lot of time constraints right now and I think the teachers feel like if they, don't, they didn't have to do something then it was hard to get them to do that. But I did find um, some common themes um, within um, my data that lack of time is a major barrier to um, collaboration as well as I found um, that there's a lot of um, miscommunication that is involved in the IEP meeting process. Um, for example, um, there's times when teachers don't, teachers and therapists don't know about IEP meetings or um, the IEP meetings are scheduled at a time when they can't attend the meeting. Um, but one of the major findings that I um, found was that there, there's a lack of involvement with the parents um, in the school system. I only had three parent participants to actually um, complete a semi-structured interview with me. And um, so whenever I found this, it, it made a big need. It sent out a flag to me that there was a need to, um, to provide some type of advocacy and education to the parents in, in order to, for them to empower their child. So with this being said, I ended up um, getting involved with a local foundation in my community and I'm going to start working with them to try and get the parents more involved and um, try to increase the um, occupational um, performance of um, the students and increase their participation and mainly we're going to start with leisure activities. But um, I'm really excited about it and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to um, complete this project because I think it's going to open a lot of doors um, to help a lot of children in my community. Thank you.